Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, April 15, 2024. I hope you are in good spirit this morning and I pray that as you go through today, that Holy Spirit will guide you and may the protection of the Lord be on your life. Our reading today comes to us from Genesis chapter 17, reading from verse 15 to 17 and it says and god said unto abraham as for sarai thy wife thou shalt not call her name sarai but sarah shall her name be and i will bless her and give thee a son also of her yea i will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations kings of people shall be of her then abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart Shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is ninety years old bear? Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy word. May we find comfort and peace as we continue to read and study. Now, I will start out by asking this question. Is there anything too hard for God to do? Think about that. Because here we see in this situation where God told Abram and Sarah that he was going to fulfill the promise that he made to them a while back. Remember the promise that he made when he told him to count the stars and he said that he's going to have, he's going to be the father of all nations and do you remember that promise, right? Now here God came back again and told Abram that he was about to fulfill that promise. He told Abram and Sarah that they would bear a son. Now, Abram was 100 years old and his wife Sarah, she was 90. So they were old. When Abram heard what God said, he laughed in his heart. And he questioned, how is it that a man of my age and a woman that is as old as my wife. How are we going to become parent at our old age? Abraham seems to forget in that moment is that he's speaking to God. God who is the creator of life. He is the one that creates everything. And so if he creates everything, it means therefore that there's nothing that he can't do. But it seems like for a moment, Abraham had a lapse in memory. But I want us to understand that God works with our impossibilities. There is nothing that is too hard for him to do. Now, did the promise fulfill in Abraham? Of course. They got a son named Isaac in their old age. So God fulfilled his promise and it goes back to the text that say no word that God speak will return back to him empty. It will not return to him void. Once it comes from his mouth, it shall and will happen. That's the God that we serve. His words have power and authority and it commands. And so when we go to God, and we ask God for something and God promised that he will fulfill to us whatever we ask as long as it's in accordance with his will. We should not doubt because doubting it can become an hindrance to you receiving your blessing. So when we examine Abraham's experience this promise was made to him many years before. So he had a good little wait to wait before the promise was fulfilled. And this is the other part that I want us to understand that things will not always happen when we expect them to. So not because you ask for something now mean that you're going to get it now. Because maybe now is not the time for it. And so we got to learn patience. We have to learn to wait and to trust God to deliver when the time is perfect. 
God in his own time and in his wisdom know exactly when to fulfill his promise to us. But the promises are there. What are some of the promises that he made to us? He promised us that he will provide for our needs. He promised that he will give us the Holy Spirit. He promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us. And the list goes on and on. He said that if we ask anything in his name, that he will grant it unto us. So God has made promises that he intends to keep. But God is not the problem here. Just like Abraham laughed in his heart, a lot of us, we also laugh in our heart. We believe that God is not going to come through. We doubt God. And so we become an endurance to our own blessing. Doubt kills, but faith, it produces results. Amen. So I pray that our faith this morning will produce results. I pray this morning that we will believe in the promises that God has made to us. And remember that once it is in accordance with His will, you can be sure that you will get that promise. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.